opening for Fred Eaglesmith at Corville's Restaurant and Catering Service was Audrey Ald Mazzara. The most beautiful color in the world. I want to be a flower. Kiss the days one by one. Catch hearts as I Old Mazera in Beaumont. Welcome uh, to Southeast Texas. This is where we we just love country music and we like your style of music for sure. Thank you. It's, it's good to be good. here. It's just gorgeous driving through Texas. It's so pretty. You're a singer-songwriter from mm -hmm. Tasmania, which is the yeah. uh, southern part of Australia. Yeah, it's a little island state right down the bottom mm -hmm. of the planet. Where's home now? Uh, Nashville, actually. Is it really? Yeah, I moved there, uh, you know, seven months ago, and uh, there's snow on the ground right now, so I'm real happy to be in Texas. <laughs> Have we heard some of your songs on uh, Nashville radio? <laughs> I don't think so. Actually, I had a song cut. I had a song cut uh -huh. by Sunny Sweeney, a Texan girl. Uh -huh. um, it's called Next Big Nothing, and uh, it's on her album, which came out late last year. And uh, I don't know, are you familiar with Sunny? Have you have you heard her? I've at heard all? the name. Um... She's a great honky tonk girl. Okay. And it's a song I thought no one's ever going to cut that song, and she went and did it, and did it, did it beautifully. Would you call your style of music Americana? Americanda. Americanda. Americanda, because I'm Australian, so, uh -huh. you know, it's kind of, I'm a songwriter, it, it, I, it comes out country, rock, folk, you know, bluegrass, like, whatever, I just kind of go with the song rather than stick to a genre. actually playing classical violin. I started when I was six and uh, played in the Tasmanian Youth Orchestra and then I just kind of got bored with classical music, you know. I mean it's a it's a wonderful grounding for writing because there's no lyrics and it's all about the melody. Um, but I did piano for a couple of years and it wasn't until later in my life when I was living in the outback in Australia and, and that's when I started writing and it was and that's when I sort of discovered country music because I hadn't had any country music in my upbringing. It was Dixieland jazz and, and classical. And as I was travelling around, I just kind of raided people's record collections and uh, discovered, you know, Ernest Tubb, Dwight Yoakam, Patsy Cline, Bob Wills, Jimmy Rogers, the Carter family, and uh, just delved into the history of the music. And I really liked the old, the real stuff, you know, that hardcore Loretta Lynn, Tammy Wynette. That's, that's the stuff that I really dig that's just, you know, hard on your sleeve and, mm -hmm. and a lot of humour or, or a lot of sadness, but always just really, really heartfelt. What else can I say? But I guess that's why she fell in love with me. She's a house on fire. Don't care that much for uh, mainstream Nashville music. Uh, I, I don't care for stuff that doesn't have any truth in it, and and I just want a song to to, to touch me. I don't I don't care what the style is, and I want to feel moved. And sometimes I think there's just they just throw all this money at it, and you don't need that. You don't. I mean, listen to Hank Williams. Right. You know, he's just got like a fiddle and a steel guitar and the bass and drums, and it's like oh. They just make it too complicated. Oh, just got lots of money. I uh -huh. think I think they just layer all those instruments uh -huh. on and you know. Studio musicians and all that stuff. Not to say that there aren't some that I enjoy. I mean I listen to WSM in Nashville, you know, because mm -hmm. you just get a nice mix of, of modern and old and you know, they, they re respect the traditions. I guess you're a fan of uh, Fred Eaglesmith. Oh absolutely, I'm a Fred head for sure. I discovered him when I was still living in Australia and uh, a lady just sent us a, a, a cassette tape of her radio show and, and there was this song, Alcohol and Pills, and uh -huh. we were like, wow! We just kept rewind, rewind, rewind and, and I've eventually recorded that song and put it on my first solo album and uh, I had my own label, Reckless Records, so um, eventually got in touch with Fred and have released his albums down there and um, he's toured down there five or six times now and has got a growing bunch of Fred heads down there who want to see him back real soon. He's a very, very famous uh, songwriter, isn't he? He's, uh, he's amazing. Yeah, yeah he's, he's one of a kind and I, I, he leaves a trail of changed lives 
with his music and, and his spirituality and his humour and just he's really a unique human being and I just feel so lucky to be able to play on his shows and, and know him. It's Audrey Old Mazera. He got it right! It's, it's a mouthful. <laughs> I, I got it. I know, I'm never going to get remarried. I wanted to be like Audrey Old Mazera Yoakum, but the, the <laughs> name wouldn't fit on the CD cover. And had a hit in 20 years, but that's, that's probably a good thing. But does not matter? Yeah. So neither is Fred Eaglesmith, but who do we love? The right, people with the right. hits or, or people like Dwight and Fred, you know? Yeah, well, the music industry kind of chews people up and spits them out. Well, it's a lot to do with money. I'm, I'm, uh, I've been close to uh, uh, the Chambers family, Casey Chambers in Australia, who's a huge star in Australia. And um, the only she was always fantastic, a fantastic singer and songwriter. The only thing that changed that made her famous was the amount of money that was thrown at her career. Mm -hmm. And, you know, thank goodness it was someone who, who, who deserved it. But, but it is about money and, and uh, it's good to know that and to be free of that. To, mm -hmm. to just have a good life travelling and playing music and that's my dream and I'm living it so I'm you real happy. I'm happy. Keep entertaining people. Lovely show. We loved it. Thanks. Excellent. Thank music. you and I like your crown. That's my, I call this my crown boy hat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Jim King, so I call myself uh, King of the Road. You're on the King of the Road show. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> Did you notice my holster? I keep my microphone in there. And sometimes long neck beers. <laughs> That's a good idea. Hope you've enjoyed our visit with Fred Eaglesmith and Audrey Ald Mazera. Corville's Restaurant and Catering Service off Highway 90 on Roses Lane, west of Beaumont. At Corville's, they host monthly live concerts complete with a delicious dinner at their unique facility. Coming up on March 19th, Corville's presents famed singer-songwriter Bruce Robison. For more information, call 409-860-9811 or visit CajunFlavors.com.